Good morning. Here we are, Thursday, almost at the end of the year, and at the SEPP cooking show. And this is uh, an exercise by the Spiritual and Environmental Community of Practice. Uh, and our theme for uh, this show is uh, over this nine days is the journey to the symbiocene. So this is another way of talking about how we can get to a place of viable human living on the planet uh, and how we can keep the planet livable for all. Dealing with all these things that we know about with uh, climate change, pollution, political, economic setups, and uh, all those things that we're um, uh, seeing in the press uh, and seeing face to face in our lives as well that's another big deal and previously we've touched on uh, how we're feeling the distress that we can be feeling when we see the desolation that comes about from environmental damage or from the suffering that our brothers and sisters around the world and within our circle of influence may be suffering because of all these uh, things to do with climate change, pollution and the like. And so there's a bit of a journey to go in and I certainly I can think about my own journey in feeling the distress of seeing all these things and the shock of it and then how is it that I can uh, come to terms with those those feelings. Uh, so part of that journey for me has been doing things like Joanna Macy and John Seed's Despair and Empowerment Workshop, which gives me, gave me an opportunity to talk through in a supportive environment with a small group of people, uh, talk through what it was that I was feeling um, and how this was affecting me. And yeah, lo and behold, a simple enough exercise in a way, but nonetheless, it really helped me to come to terms with those feelings um, and uh, appreciate them. Certainly, I don't want to be you know, pushing those feelings away of you know despair, anger, overwhelm, um, so nostalgia. I really. I want to be able to live with them because they don't go away. <laughs> you know, if you undergo a bit of a healing process with those feelings, then uh, they will continue to come up. And I think, uh, you know, now that I can accept them and live with them more happily, then uh, this means that when they come up again, then uh, I can ride the wave of the emotion. Um, and appreciate what they're saying to us because um, they're giving me a message about how to um, how to uh, recognize that there is challenges that we're going through at the moment big time and there's more to come and so <clears throat> perhaps there's a, a nice quote I could read to you just about that from Amanda Gorman who was the youth poet laureate in the US uh, and she wrote a nice little this is a section out of her poem uh, so while once we asked how could we possibly prevail over catastrophe now we assert how could catastrophe possibly prevail over us uh, I really am inspired by that uh, Amanda Gorman's just a young person, but full of wisdom. And particularly this morning, we're talking about the next of the eight ingredients for these uh, spiritual and environmental preservation practice, which is uh, keeping on. Yesterday, we talked about uh, setting out, which is about the vision, view, and vow that we might think to take. Um, and I don't know about anybody else, but having made a commitment, something like, you know, the New Year's resolutions, um, one day, perhaps the very next day, <laughs> I'm like forgotten about it or being distracted. 
And so how is it that we can help ourselves to keep, keep on track? Uh, and when we've got off track is to come back uh, on track and to keep you know, working on what it is that we've made a commitment to. It's a very natural thing, I find, <laughs> for me at least, to be you know, off track. Um, and uh, there's that analogy of flying to the moon in a, in a space rocket. Um, there is, um, you know, that, that the spaceship going to the moon is off track most of the time. Um, and then it's always making corrections to keep to get back on track to get to to get to that destination. And a bit of an inspiration from Master Sing Yin uh, from 365 Days with Wisdom, February 25th entry, is let attitude remain unchanged in poverty and wealth. Let honour remain unchanged in politeness or rudeness, and let faith remain unchanged in success or failure. And some of the things that we're talking about with keeping on with the SEPP eight ingredients is to develop our spiritual skills. So this is about all mindfulness, um, concentration, um, and keeping ourselves uh, on track, having an obstacle remedy approach. So when obstacles come up, how is it that I can apply a remedy for that? Uh, Master Xing has actually got a list of 100 obstacles and remedies that we can think about applying to those. Uh, we can also look to uh, right mindfulness and right effort. These are a couple of parts of the Eightfold Path um, and also right concentration as well. And then to keep on with something that is challenging like this is that we're faced with, is to generate joy, generate Dharma joy, and to have prayer in your life as well. So I think all these things are, and more, are things that we can bring into this picture uh, to help us keep on going and to sustain ourselves. Um, as we go through this journey uh, from where we are with the Anthropocene and how we uh, live as humans in that, in that situation um, and continue our journey to the Symbiocene where we're living in mutual benefit with the environment, with the planet and with each other. Now, it's time for Ling to give us our little cooking demonstration for this morning. Thank you, Ling. I also would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the lands. I'm going to make the melt. So I have got toast, the gluten free bread. I'm going to lie them down on here. And what I'm actually going to do, previously, um, yesterday in the um, sessions, I have done the tea eggs. So um, that's the tea egg with the shells. When it's actually come out, each egg, it looks like this. It's all have these beautiful patterns and marbles and um, like spider web. It's so beautiful and the cracks. Really, this is actually the Cosmo cracks that we can actually see in our life. You know, there's actually so many different perspectives. We can see from there and from there. And that's not just that. When we cut it open, what do we see? Do we see like something like outside? Is it outside and inside there's two different things so when we actually look at something don't be fooled by the outside look don't judge the book by the covers you know we we like to do that but what is it for we need to be able to um transcend or to shift the um the focus rather than actually being fooled by the outside look can we actually cut it open and contemplate on the inside. Now, with the eggs, you can actually do so many different things. You don't have to cut it like that. I was originally was thinking about make it easy for me just to put it in a bowl and scramble it up and mix it up. But then I was thinking, you know, there's another bowl that I actually have to wash. 
I'm not in the mood of washing any any, any dishes. So um, I just going to, I decided just to cut it in, uh, slide them up and just lie them onto the toast, the bread. And I also have preheat the oven as well. Now I also have, you don't need much really. We think that in our life we need this and we need that and we went shopping and we, we actually bought too many things, too much that, um, you know, that we actually have bought and fill up the, the fridge. And then we let the, um, whatever it is that we bought, um, you know, go off to, to um, the landfill. Luckily, we actually have got worm farm. So, you know, feed it to the, far, the, the worm. So as you can actually see, there's not much that is needed. Just cut that one up. I can actually just throw them away, but I'm not going to do that. Okay. And also I have got some, um, I have choices of the, the, the cherry tomatoes or the actual tomato. This cherry tomato is actually from home. So what I'm actually also going to do, I'm going to actually going to lightly put them on the sides. Those cherry tomato then actually will become the decorations on the plate because we do actually eat with our eyes as well as our ears. So um, I'm going to slide these um, tomatoes in half. I'm going to use that to actually to decorate the plate. Now these, um, the edible um, flowers, I'm going to use the edible gar uh, flowers in a minute, but um, for now I'm going to use the dill. Dill is, it's, um, it's quite good with emotions. You know, if, if you actually feel like um, not happy or, or sad or um, irritated, get some herbs. Listen to your body, get some mint into your system, get some um, dew into your system. So that is actually will help, um, you know, the different way you can actually eat them. You can uh, make tea that tastes really good with tea, the dews, or you can just actually put them in your salad or whatever it is. All yeah, right. Now, the next thing that I'm actually going to do, I can either actually put hummus or um, olive dips in there, but I'm not going to do that. There's always choices. I'm going to put the tomatoes over it. So I sprinkle the tomatoes on top. Very, very easy. And as I'm actually doing it, um, this is very therapeutic for me. I then get to concentrate um, on what I am doing mindfully bring myself back to the present moment rather than um, being caught up with my feelings. Now at this stage, I can either use pepper or I can use chili. So I'm going to use pepper. I'm going to sprinkle peppers. This is black peppers that I grind them up myself. Save lots of money and also the house is actually, um, you know, um, smell beautiful the aroma smells beautiful and also when i'm grinding the pepper it's also give me that sneeze so clearing up my um, nostrils my sinus uh, not that i have sinus at all now the last thing that i'm actually going to put in there is cheese if you don't eat cheese that's okay you don't have to put any cheese in there um but if you do eat cheese just pop cheese on top and put them into the oven there you go set them up high because we're going to just melt the cheese i have toast the um um the the bed already now like i said earlier we do eat with our eyes once is actually the um the um the toast is ready why wait uh, you can actually do meditations or you can actually um, this is actually meditations for me actually so what we can do is we can actually use this one here cut them into small pieces this is from home by the way it's red dandelion and i have got this ginseng plants very very easy to go and the more you cut them the more they're coming back so this is actually will give you a little bit of energies 
because ginseng, what ginseng do is it lift you up. You don't have to have the root ginseng. This is the ginseng plant from Korean. The Korean people actually use them a lot. So I chop that one up, and in the minute the tomatoes will actually will come out in a minute. So um, and you can also see I have got choices of plates, and you'll see in a minute what's actually <coughs> happening. So let's place do the um, placing. Placing is so important when we actually doing our. However you want to do it is totally up to you. As you know, and as I know, as Tom knows, I'm not a green person. So you would already have guessed that which um who's going to who's going to have that plate. <laughs> right, that must be me. <laughs> <laughs> won't be the cat. <laughs> won't be the cat. <laughs> I, I don't really like green. So you can actually see there I have got a tiny little greens there for me. I'm going to put some green chili, cut up the green chili um, there. And as you can actually see, I do like chili and Tom doesn't like chili. So I'm going to put the chili up on there um, as a de decorative and also I'm going to eat them as well. Whatever we do, we also these flowers. Oh, yes, we also have flowers here as well. When we don't feel good, you know, when we actually feel upset, what is it that we can do to lift ourselves up, to lift up our spirit? Are we going to take responsibility to lift ourselves up, to go to bed or to go to the garden or to play with our food? So, so really to make ourselves um, feel a little bit better, you know, to take responsibility, really, rather than actually pushing it away or, um, you know, telling ourselves, um, calling ourselves names or um, pretend that it's actually not happening. It's not there. We face up to it, you know, owns it. I'm not feeling happy. I'm feeling angry. I'm feeling frustrating. What am I going to do about it? So, so just actually, you know, talk to the feelings, owns it. There we go. That actually makes me feel um, better. Actually, if we can actually um, practice this Ten Commandment, then this land is we can actually create pure land on earth. The first one is that you know do not compare anybody with yourself, and whatever we do is um, dealing with with um, situations with um, respect. And number four, four commandment is when we see people, we can actually just smile. Give them the smile is free. Um, number five is um, to quit we are When you think that people actually take advantage of us, that is okay. And um, sixth commandment is when we're dealing with people, when we ha um, have that connection with people, make sure that it's honest and, and it's with our heart. It is not that, you know, like um, the heart actually have to be there and the practice is there. The seventh commandment is the practice to actually have our heart, not to take the, um, the um, worries to bed and a commandment say good words that is a practice and number nine is make sure that we befriend good people befriend people that is actually will help us or will will teach us rather than people that will drag us down Ten Commandment, when everybody wish that everybody will actually be on the path to Buddhahood. Now, normally, I would actually smell beautiful. Um, I wish that you actually hear Stephanie to actually to, to um, experience this smell um, yourself. But what I can actually do best is just to show you that's what actually what it is. Um, that's how it actually look like. It looks like colors of Christmas, the red and the yellow and yeah, the right. green. Nice. Ah, <laughs> we are celebrating Christmas, are we? 